Hello, welcome back to the channel. And this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings. We generally like to talk a lot of bollocks. Tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we are going to be talking about an app based RPG type game. We're going to be talking about destinies. And in this game, you will be taking on a role of a character. You'll be moving around a map, picking up items, trying to inch your way towards fulfilling your destiny that will allow you to win the game. So in this video, we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules. We'll be telling you what we do like what we don't like. Then we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not Destinies is worth your time and bother today and in the future. So remember, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing to this channel, hit the like button and all that YouTube bullshit. We'll see you after this. Bollocks. So, Destinies, how'd you play this game? So Destinies is an app-based RPG type game. It says on the back, it says the first competitive story-driven RPG board game ever. I don't know about that. That is a wild claim, but let's take it at face value, right? So the first thing you're going to do in this game, you're going to download the app, right? You're going to open up the app and then you will choose one of the five scenarios that is included in the base game yeah you'll choose a character and if there's two or three players then you'll each choose a character won't you you ain't gonna play this game without a fucking character are you you will take a player board you'll take three effort dice and two normal dice and you'll take your character card and you'll see on your character card that there are two destinies on the back that you can follow the way this works is that you will be wandering around the map and you'll be able to ask different characters about your destinies right and these will give you clues as to where you got to go to try and fulfill them so the app will tell you how many markers to put on your board there's three stats i can't remember what they're called one of them is called power which is the red one and then there's a green one and a blue one that's all you've got to know and you'll place three or four different markers on that track yeah the way the game works is through skill checks when you take a skill check you'll always roll the two white dice but you get to choose how many effort dice you roll yeah and that will boost your chances of getting successes so you roll the dice you'll add up the numbers on the dice and then you'll look at your player board and then say if you rolled an eight and you've got two markers from behind that, then you'll get two successes, right? And then you'll tell the app how many successes you've got and it will tell you what happens. So the app will tell you to place the central tile out on the board and it might tell you to place some tiles face down around it. You'll place all your little figures on the starting tile and then the app will tell you who goes first, yeah? The first thing you're going to do is move. You can move up to two spaces orthogonally. There are different things in the game that let you move three spaces. And once you've moved, then you'll interact with one of the locations on the board. You might have to put a figure out on the board, or you might have to just put a point of interest marker out on the board, yeah? You tap on the place you want to visit, and then the app will run through an encounter. You might have to roll some dice. You might have to make some decisions. It might ask you to provide a character with an item, in which case you'll take an item card from your hand, and you will scan it into the app, and the app will tell you whether or not it's any use or not, yeah? There's also experience tokens that you can get. If you get one of these, you can upgrade a stat by two you generally get this by making a mistake in the game so for some bizarre reason the game's going to ask you to say move your power stat down one but it's going to give you an experience token which allow you to boost up by two that is a bit weird but that's what it does yeah so you're going to keep doing this you're going to keep moving around the map you're going to keep investigating the story in the game trying to advance your destiny and once you have fulfilled the requirements of your destiny the game will tell you to visit a certain place and fulfill your destiny yeah this usually takes the four of some sort of big bad encounter and the first player to complete their finale will be the winner of destinies so what do we like about destinies so the first thing that we really like about this game is that the app is really, really well designed. There are a couple of caveats with the app, but we'll get onto that later. But by and large, the app is very, very clear, very, very concise in the way it operates. Just don't play it on a mobile phone because it's a bit too small and not everyone can see what is going on, right? You're not really going to be making any mistakes with the app. The only thing I would say is that there's no way to undo the die rolls that, that you enter into the app. So you've got to make sure you get them in first time. It does ask you if you got it right. I know some people are complete and are fucked up yeah and even screw that up yeah so just be doubly careful that you enter the right amount of successes yeah because the app isn't going to be able to undo them but yeah by and large it's a really good app i'm not really a big fan of apps in board games for the main reason is that they tend to drop off of the app store and there's no way to reinstall them i mean i call it being golem arcanas right but yeah so far as the app is concerned this one is probably one of the best looking ones out there so the second thing that we like about this game is that the story is actually 
quite visceral yeah the story does actually take a few risks with its content yeah there's a lot of blood and guts in this and that's what we like you don't want things sterilized to the point where you just feel like you're staring into an angel's bum hole and at certain points in playing this i was like fucking hell that's a bit rich in it lots and lots of medieval religious death shit yeah and i was playing this with my kids and i was thinking fuck me should they really be playing this they're gonna have nightmares about this because my kids are quite sensitive you know what i mean so yeah risk taking is back in this game not by huge amounts it's not driller killer or salo 180 days of sodom it makes a change <laughs> having a little bit of gore in a video game you know? in a board game yeah so the final thing that we really like about this game is that the effort dice add a nice little touch of push your luck in this game there might be occasions in certain encounters where you're going to be asked to make several skill checks so it's up to you to think how well you're going to do because different characters are stronger in different stats so if you're weak on a blue you might want to use your effort dice hoping that the next skill check is going to be a red which you're quite proficient at right so this game does give you some choices it's not just look at the app on the screen point where you're going do what the app says you do have to make some quite strategic choices in how you allocate your dice to different tasks yeah and i quite like that funny old thing so what don't we like about destinies so the first thing that we don't like about destinies is that the minis are really really small yeah and that makes them really really hard to tell apart yeah i mean in my old age i've got failing eyesight yeah and my progressive spectacles aren't up to the job for this i have heard some ridiculous thing online saying that the reason they made these minis so small is so that the end of level boss type characters look so fucking big well how fucking big are these things meant to be i mean for goodness sake it's like an ant analyzing the size of king kong's cock so yeah the minis are too small spend half your time I'm thinking, well, is that the wood cutter? Is who's that? Is that a bishop? Is that his finger? So yeah, make the minis fucking bigger, right? Next time, it's a pain in the ass. So the next thing that we don't like about destinies is that when you are roaming around a map, you are blindly examining different locations, yeah, and you might reveal something that another player is going to be looking for, yeah. It's going to be like an inadvertent reveal. So if your player is looking for a sort of a key, for instance, you go to a location on the app, you reveal it, and then your opponent goes, "Oh, cheers, mate. I'm going to go and get that fucking key now," and you've just wasted wasted a turn basically gifting them half of what they need to do the app isn't intelligent enough to know whose turn it is for some bizarre reason you would have thought they might have baked in some sort of digital veil to stop other players seeing what they shouldn't see on your turn yeah but as it is it's not in there and it can be really really frustrating if you do this on two occasions and one of your opponents runs away with the game and sort of basically just sticks their finger up your bum bum so the final thing that we don't like about destinies is that some of the scenarios can be kind of frustratingly long and obscure while i was playing the corset i did find myself sort of zoning out a little bit because i was blindly wandering around the map not really knowing where i was meant to go next yeah and each scenario took us around about two hours i know there's going to be some fuckers out there that are going to go well this took us an hour tops or we completed it in 15 fucking minutes well you can go fuck yourselves yeah because it took me and my kids roughly two hours to play each scenario yeah and i did find myself truth be told getting a little bit bored yeah so they could have shaved half an hour off of this made it a little bit more obvious about where you're going to go because i am stupid when it comes to those sort of things so yeah some of the scenarios are a little bit too long for me so to summarize is destinies worth your time and bother today and in the future so we're going to say maybe, maybe not. Destinies is an admirable attempt and what it calls an RPG in a box. This is what the seventh continent should have been. The app takes care of all of the bullshit that you don't care about but perhaps it takes care of too much yeah the board is arguably pointless and it's hard to say whether this could have been a straight up video game without anyone actually noticing the lack of content in the box is also quite concerning for me just five scenarios in the core box each one a one-shot affair if you're playing with the maximum player count isn't value for money for me so perhaps this is best played solo so you can see more stuff more slowly having said that i did enjoy destinies quite a bit i'm just suspicious of the fact that perhaps Perhaps this isn't actually a board game after all and is actually a video game in drag. So there you go, that is Destinies. Remember, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to this channel with the like button and all that YouTube bullshit. See you next Tuesday.